Hi guys, it's yours truly, Music Clues here, and guess who's hey. finally back in our home state? Hey, subscribers, it's Ethan here. Yes, now originally we we're going to do the second vlog together, but unfortunately Ethan told me behind the scenes that he has work tomorrow early, so the same time, time we decided to just do this one, uh, do this one over Zoom again. Sorry guys, but e life happens, like I always say. Yes, indeed, folks. But hey, it doesn't matter so long as we, we get together. So today, uh, we're going to be talking all about Ethan's second week from New Jer Jersey. And I got to say, uh, compared to his first week, it was actually a pretty interesting week. Maybe even more interesting than the first week. In addition to that, to give some teasers of what's to come ahead for this vlog, Ethan also got to see Space Jam 2, a movie I have yet to see. See, so Oh, we'll be yes. Oh, yes. And it, it should be very mm -hmm. interesting to hear his opinion since I haven't seen it yet. So you'll, he will be the first out of the two of us to let us know what he thinks. Uh, in addition to that, he also played some other games of emulation. His thoughts about Pokemon Unite, which I covered on the channel earlier, guys. Uh, click on the card on the corner screen there, and you guys will be able to see uh, a video I did of Pokemon Unite. For those who don't know about the game, I doubt you. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, yeah. All right. So without further ado, uh, why don't you get started with what you did, uh, this past Sunday? Yeah. So, um, for those of you who did not know, you guys saw on the Twitter on, um, on last Sunday, must I say, I went over to this retro game store. It's called Digital Press in New Jersey. So... It turns out there are good some some good selections, but there's some lectures just like not as good, not as good, and not as good as Florida. Yeah, not as good as the one I went down in Florida, which obviously you guys would know. No, I got a whole bunch of games down in Florida, including uh, all three of the original Dead or Alive games from uh, from the Xbox and the Xbox 360, making my Dead or Alive collection complete across all Xbox systems. Uh, but, um, yeah, so it was a pretty empty selection, you could say. We still walked away with a couple titles, but we really didn't clear out our inventory because, unfortunately, most of the titles there were, woo, 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 boy, expensive. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I couldn't even get games that are just so good it's that expensive. I was able to get a good couple of the two good Inflation classics. They are really good. That I want to try later, but it doesn't contract. It doesn't contract like the first three of a certain series. I but see. it is still in the main series canon. I see. I see. See. So I guess we should probably go over those games that you met, mentioned that you got. So uh, I got free. Ethan bought me three games, and we split one. One, so why don't you tell them what games I got? Yeah, so let me see if I could go over on Twitter and stuff. Otherwise, I could share the screen real quick because um, I could get the games I have with me. But uh, but yeah, I guess I could go ahead and do that real quick. It wouldn't hurt. All right. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh. oh, yeah, there's all the game too, but it's for Xbox. I have yeah, recently got. All right, I got it right here, man. Indeed. All right, just give me a second. I'll go over the games that I got to you, and then I got for myself, but I have others that are on PS2, but I could get them afterwards. Ugh. But there is another game that I had that will surprise you. And I know you're going to be like, 
hey, where'd you get this other game? But eh, again, if I were him, watch the video <laughs> or just skip it. All right, so I'll do this. His first three is this game. Yes, I got the original Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2 for the Xbox. Fox. You're good. Yep. This game right here, that's um first two episodes of the first Fantasy Star I noticed. Yeah, the first Fantasy Star Online. All right. Next one. That'll be the, the one of the door games. Yes, okay. I got door door saves the crystal kingdom for the Wii since my PlayStation 2 copies kaput. And lastly, my Sims Kingdom. Unfortunately, I lost my disc for this one, so I need a replacement. So I guess why not? I I only have my Sims agent, so I just need a replacement for Kingdom, and this is perfect. So uh thanks again, buddy, for giving me those three games, and I will pay you back as soon as I can. Yeah, indeed. But um, I had a surprise for my friend. That is, I'm going to see when he gets back from his own trip, which he is right now still up in that one area that I was. And he still is. So, if I were him, don't watch the video. Yeah, if you're watching this video, you know who you are. Are Shoo, 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 shoo. The, the surprise isn't for you, you until you get back. Yup, and the game I got him, you're gonna be like, where'd you get that in the game? You'll see why. This game right here. Uh, yes, Pilots, The Legend of Black Cat. Now, to be fair, Ethan actually already owns this, his own copy of this game, but his friend ended up liking it, so Ethan decided, eh, why not? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so he likes that game when I play with him. Oh, he's already going in the walls with that game. He, he probably wants to play on his own later. And it is a good game after all. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally and another fair. Thing I got, another thing I got is surprisingly is a PSP game. And I have been dying to play one of the series. Twisted Metal Heads On. Yes, uh, this is one of the Twisted Metal games that Ethan, he, uh, it's part of Ethan's collection, sort of. We're still looking for the other Twisted Metal, but unfortunately, when we look down there, yeah. prices were a little pricey for those games. Yup, indeed. There's even other, some other games I have gotten too, but I got the other PS2 games I gotta get in a minute. Next game I got is, you're gonna be like, Why'd you get that game? I'll explain this again. Is this game? Yes, we got the original Skylanders. Uh, Skylanders. Now, on the off chance we me and Ethan find any original Skylanders that work for this game, game, we'll definitely check it out. But speaking of Acquisition Blizzard, before we continue, continue Ethan continues, we need to make a small announcement, announcement about coverage for those games on the channel since. Well, you guys have been hearing what's been going on, and I'm not going to repeat myself self, because I'll sound like a broken record, but I'll just say this. For the foreseeable future, me and Ethan have decided not to be covering any Acquisition Blizzard games games uh, coming out or in the future on the channel and or until things have cleared up or until things have changed over at Acquisition Blizzard's business. It, it, it's just, I just don't want to give the CEOs in the head satisfaction that we're still going to buy their games no matter what. So I personally th think that I just we just shouldn't cover them at all, all for the time being. It's just not right. Well, unless if it's in, unless if it's off screen, that's totally fine. Exactly. But uh, in terms of the actual gameplay coverage, no, I'm sorry, guys. Guys, this is just to give them the satisfaction, uh, not to give acquisition satisfaction of them getting it as for me personally i will not be buying any acquisition games going forward forward or because well i don't want to support that company unless i get it as a gift it's free or i get it used which unfortunately means i'll have to wait a couple weeks weeks after game releases if it's something like spiral 4. yep uh but yeah i'll just say Real quick, 
Shame on you, Aquavision. Shame on you for what you've done. Done. I can't believe you would ever do such a thing. No kidding about that, man. Now, now there's even people out there wanted those two particular series taken away from that company. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And let's pray that that happens. I'll take anybody, even Sony. Well, yep. Sony are pretty much a long legacy in the past, so I guess that would not hurt. I guess that would not hurt either, but I would, won't be happy about it either way. <laughs> uh, either way, if they do go to Sony, let's hope they treat them well. Well, well oh. unlike some of the other IPs. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, that aside, though, that small announcement aside, okay, buddy, that small, small distraction aside, why don't you continue? What other games did you get? I got Burnout Revenge. Yes, another Burnout game. Now, for those who don't know, Burnout Paradise is one of Ethan's favorite games games to play. So we've been wanting to try out some of the other games in the Burnout series and see what they were like, and this is one of them. Yup. And surprisingly, I got two more. We'll surprise you all. These two God of War games. Yes, Ethan got at uh, the God of uh, God of War collection and God of War. What's that one, buddy? That'll be um, Ascension. Ascension. And that's how you can put it. That's probably one of the storylines in this game. That's way before God of War 2000. 18 is around. So this is part of like a geek uh, story. Yes. So de definitely me and Ethan, Ethan will be playing these two in, uh, playing these two in particular, but of course not right away. Wait, we both want to get, still get a brand new PlayStation free so we don't run our current one down, down with any more physical games. Yup. And if you're wondering what's a collection of this, it only collects Two of these PSP like games, Indeed. which is Ghost of Sparta and Change Olympus. Yes, so Ethan, Ethan doesn't have any yep. of the main title God of Wars yet. I mean, the only one I have is a main title is on the PS, PS5, but that's downloaded, so I can play that at any time. Indeed. So yeah, but I got other. What? No, what you what were you gonna say? All right, folks, get ready for some surprise. <laughs> of course, Ethan's always playing surprises. Let's see. Yeah, that's all I can say. Okay, all right, let's do it. Big of the particularly surprise of those of you who did not know, this will shock and see over there. <laughs> I believe I saw that on your Twitter picture, but that's cool. Yeah, Ethan got the PlayStation uh, 2 version of MX Unleashed. For those who don't know, these uh, MX started on the PlayStation and the Xbox. Box. Uh, and this is the sort of spiritual success, I guess, to the ATV Offworld Fury series that Ethan owns all four titles for. Uh, uh, that one in particular is the first installment, installment and skipped the GameCube until lots of, until the later installments that came to uh, the Nintendo Wii and beyond, of course. But uh, yeah, that one in particular is one of Ethan's. Uh, I guess you could say favorites like, now? One of my favorites, you can put it. But the thing is, I did play it the first time. Boy, that game looks good as the first AT of Fury, in my opinion. Definitely. Although I will say, say like the ATV Off World Fury series, MX series, MX versus ATV hasn't gone uh, <laughs> exceptionally well. I have a couple mixed thoughts about, about some of the other installments in the series, but that's a video for another day. Yep, yep. So obviously, that I replayed all four. 
first one's my favorite, so I'm not going to go over it, re over it again. But um, this game I got here was actually originally a PSP game, and I was able to get this copy in the PS2. So it's one of Saiton Filter games. Yes, Saiton Filter. This is one of the series that Ethan has just recently dived into, too, and has been wanting to play and has been playing a little bit more. Up. More of. He has the original Cyclone filter for the play original PlayStation as well. This is this uh I, this is a spin-off or a sequel. I has to be a sequel from the last four Cyclone filter games. Yes, you heard Ethan. There's four Cyclone filters. If you thought there was just one, <laughs> you're mistaken. Unfortunately, there's more. There's more. As after all the four games. So um, I heard the people say the after the two was getting worse in their own opinion. But we'll see how that, we'll see what Ethan thinks once we play the other, well, after this one, the other three. Yep. So now that's all you know for the those collections. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now, in terms of what we are currently collecting on the list, unfortunately, we only managed to knock out Burnout Revenge. In terms of anything else, we weren't able to really hit off our list. So, unfortunately, our collection remains a little less fair in terms of our goals, but we still added some good stuff to our collection. So, I still say it's a win. But in terms of our goals, we're still going to have to do some searching, unfortunately. It's a bummer, but. We, uh, me and Ethan could definitely, uh, definitely wait on next trip. Either one of us. Yes. So that's all we have right there. All right. So in addition to uh, Ethan, Ethan going to that retro store, what else did you do on Sunday? I did a bowling alley for uh, at the Boru in uh, New Jersey, and I we I played for two games. And I hate to say it to my two buds, but I creamed them. I'm not surprised. I creamed them. <laughs> Ethan is one of the best, <laughs> one of the best bowlers I know, so I'm not surprised by that. <laughs> yeah, maybe like a competition. Oh well, yeah, maybe one of the best, but I can't say I'm like the world's best <laughs> of course <laughs> that's a different story but that's good to hear here uh what else did you do uh i did play um a certain game that is on the emulator on my friend's pc i played god of war goes of sparta and i played a game I gotta play a bit more to see, but so far it isn't as best as the other other games. That's all I I know, but I'll still give it a chance all the way through. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Good. All right. All right. All right. Uh, what else? Lastly, me and my friend, we were processing playing Sly Cooper at the time, so we were starting Sly Cooper since last Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then after that, we continue. And again, when I get there, when I get there, I'll let you know what his opinion is. I can't even tell you what his opinion is. Indeed. Then on Monday, I went over to we play in the morning. That would be we actually hashtag hacked the game that is uh, that is emulator is Pokemon Revolution. Or should I say Pokemon Battle Revolution? Yes. Yes. And how was that? Woo! Interesting battles. I got ever. That's all I can say. Dang. Man, makes me wish I was there to see it. <laughs> yeah. The next one will be 51 Games Clubhouse. We were managed to play several games like Checkers, uh, I forget the one game that's like almost like Sorry, but it's in a different version of Sorry. I forget what that one was, but that was good. And there's other games we played were pretty good. We enjoy. So yeah, did you yeah. beat, did you beat beat them in most then, of them? Mm, yes and no. Eh, I fig figured you would win and lose some in that one. All right, and then what you finally do on the, your Switch? It sounds like you were playing your Switch a bit. 
Oh yeah, I've been playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with 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 them, and oh boy, my friend really enjoyed that new character in Smash Bros. He enjoyed the new character. That's good. That's good. That's good. For those who don't know what we're referring to, unfortunately, me and Eve. If at all, uh, it still can't pronounce, pronounce his name. We seriously need to play more Smash to get used to it. Used to it. Hopefully, by the next couple of videos we do together, get it, we'll be able to do that. But <laughs> uh, to put it simple, he's one of the Tekken characters. Well, like he's a uh, main protagonist in the first game, and then after he became Evo! Evo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, anyways, <laughs> I want you to do next, bud. Okay. And then after that, we went over to the place called Wawa, and there was like a some special I wanted to get that I was over in New Jersey. Yeah, I get one of those Chips Ahoy iced coffee special. Boy, that is really good. Oh man, I just can't get enough of that stuff. <laughs> well, too bad we can't eat, get anything here. Oh, damn it. That would have sound that does kind of sound good. I kind of want to try it. <laughs> yeah, the Wawa, yeah, the Wawa is probably way better than what we got here, that's for sure. Ow! That hurts. But I wouldn't be be surprised. I guess I'll have to try, try it sometime when I go down to New Jersey. Yeah, for sure, man. All right, and what else did you play? Then we play the Super Smash Bros. One of the, the Super Smash Bros. mods for the PC and later is Super Smash Bros. Project Plus. Oh, Project I know, I I know that mod mod. Uh, that's a mod for Super Smash Bros. Blob. My knowledge isn't mistaken. Mm hmm. It was upgraded from Project M, for what I heard. Exactly. So, uh, wh what'd you think of that one? Well, it's pretty nice and it's pretty balanced. It had knuckles in it. That doesn't shock me. Yup. I was pretty good, but I can't say I like it more than Ultimate. Unless if you talk about regular Brawl. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, fair, 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 fair. Totally agree with you on that for sure. Sure, I do think the mods are pretty awesome lo looking for maybe just stand up play, but I don't think it's going to replace my opinion over the fish show games, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, next, what'd you do Tuesday? I played some other mini games in a Pokemon Stadium 2 that was on NES, something like that. It was an emulator as well. We played some of the mini games. Some mini games are like Wow, pretty fun back in the day. I can see why people love those games back in the day. <laughs> and not just that. We had the gym leader battles around that time as well. Woo, those gym leader battles. Woo. They were pretty tough back in the day. I'll tell you that much. You try put, playing on the original or the original gold and so so silver, which those games are based on. That game is based off of Jesus Christ. I cannot tell you how hard it was to get past some of those pat gym leaders. Gold and silver ale is definitely one of the toughest, in my opinion. Yep, for sure. Yeah, and then after that, during the, almost during the night, let's say we played that one mod. It is pretty good, but it's pretty bad. Probably the worst mod I ever played, and it's not balanced. Super Smash Bros. Universe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No offense to my friend, but it's not that good, Mike. What didn't you like about it? Let's just say it felt unbalanced. Not just unbalanced. Let's just say the controls are feel off placed in several ways. Yikes. Well, in that case, if anybody has played uh, that one or Super Smash but but is Project Plus, let us know in the comments below what you guys think of both of those mods, because 
it definitely sounds like Pacha Plus would definitely be one on check out for sure in the future, considering I have a mod to be you, you here. But uh, in terms of Super Smash Butters uh, Universe, I think I might resort to watching a couple of YouTube videos first. <laughs> yeah, they had like a lot of anime characters. It had almost all Nintendo characters, and it had all that. But the thing is, they look nice, but there's a problem. They're not balanced. Balance is key, as always. <laughs> all right, buddy. Now it's time for one of the big things that you got to do down there. Space Jam 2. So, uh, I believe you've seen the first Space Jam, if my knowledge is correct. Mm-hmm. You are so, correct. So, without spoilers, of course, uh, what do you think of it compared to the first one? I'll be honest, it's pretty good, but I don't hate either, to be honest with you. But uh, I'll be honest with you, there are some people out there pretty toxic about this second one. I'm not going to mention that YouTuber main, but let's just say hey, they look pretty toxic. Yeah, that's not a shock. I've been seeing mixed opinions about uh, uh, Space Jam A New Legacy on my end. Yeah, so I pretty much saw that one popular YouTuber. I'm not going to say who, just for the sake of it. Let's say they were bashing about that movie. But for me, I didn't let that bother me. I think it's enjoyable, in my opinion. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. If you had to give it a rating, rating what would you rate it? <sighs> Too bad, cannot give it like higher score like the rest of the Warner Brother movies. But let's say it's around 7 out of 10. Ooh, that's a decent score. That's a decent score. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, all right, all right then. And then uh, last thing you did. And then during the night, once I did beat the, on the PS3 finally, it's Father Z7 Crisis Core. I finally beat it while I was up there. And what's your opinion on the whole game? Oh... Could have wish I played. I was younger. That's for sure. And it's become one of my favorite Final Fantasy games now. I bet bet it is. <laughs> That's not a surprise, though. So uh, I figured that you would end but up. But at the here. end, though. Mm -hmm. But at the end, though. Pretty tearful. It's so tearful for me. I felt like I was gonna cry the whole thing. It's so it's so sad. That's not a shocker. <laughs> uh, again, I can't talk about Crisis Core too much because it does contain spoilers for the actual Final Fantasy games, uh, Final Fantasy VII games, and this includes the remake. Make as the events of Final Fantasy Crisis Core take place before the original, or and more than likely the remake as well. So, my lips are sealed. But. Zach is becoming my one of my favorite Final Fantasy characters to date, for sure. More than Cloud? Mm, I, I don't know, man. I mean, of course, I got a friend of mine just to puts me in the debate, say, hey, is it better than Remake? Is it better? I could say it's better than the original Final Fantasy VII. I can't say about the Remake because I don't count it because we need a couple more parts to determine is it better or not. Very true, very true. All right, All right then. The Wednesday was a pretty packed day for Ethan. He got to do a lot of things. Oh yeah, that's a for sure. That's a good thing. Um, I did play. Uh, the first thing in the morning, I played. Uh, S S X on tour in the GameCube emulator. Oh boy, that's one of the good games out there so far. What I played. I see, I see, I see. Next one. That'll be Mario Golf Tolstor Tool uh tour, yeah. Yeah, memorable game, tour. my opinion. What? Too memorable for me. Fair enough, fair enough. Next All one, right. Pokemon. Hmm. Okay. Next one will be Pokemon Unite. Yup, and I mean, the game, I'll, I'll get there when we get there. I got more than a ton of day, so 
I'll get them when I get there. Next one will be Super Mario Baseball. I play it over again in the emulator. Well, to be honest with you guys, it's a good game, but it's a it's a little backwards from the Wii version, in my opinion. I've always said this. I like Superstar Baseball, but mm, mm, I can't put it over the Wii version. That's one's too tough. Although I will give credit, it is a little bit more more. It is a bit more fleshed out, in my opinion. Opinion. Indian compared to the Wii version, but I guess that's just me. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, next one. I played Beyond Good and Evil on that GameCube emulator, which is the Dolphin emulator. So far, it's a good game. Good thing I know I should get it later. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Star Wars Road Squadrons 2 on the emulator. Boy, that game looks good. Let's see. And I went over to to get ice cream. Ice cream at the, at the, one of the places right by Keyport, New Jersey. Actually, I got to say, one of the best ice cream places I've been to. It's one of the best places I liked. Boy, they got the good ice cream. If you were there, you would love it. I, jeez, it sounds like there's better ice cream down there than it is here. And I'm saying something because we got quite a few ice cream places down here. Uh, all right, then I guess I'll definitely make that my top priority to try some. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll tell you the main once we, um, I, oh, I saw you search it up real quick. I'm I just going to mute it. No, 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 no. You can, sh- you can sh- send them to me off screen. screen. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, so uh, yes, the next one I get. Let's go over now. Is after that we went over to the the keep the keyboard beach area, and I gotta tell you, boy, that does not look that beautiful down there. Boy, that was almost one of the beautiful areas I've been to. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, yeah, and then I played two Atlas, well, published by Atlas Games that were from Nintendo sixty four. Which is snowboarding kids games, first and second. I see, I see. Yeah, Atlas isn't just known for seeing a Ganchi Tente and Persona, just so you know. Before they were known for that, that there were other games that they used to uh, publish and make. Yeah, yeah. They didn't make that game, they published that games. Yep. That's to my understanding. All right. In that, ca- that case, uh, how would you pick of those games? Hmm. They're not bad. They're not tremendously bad, but I just don't know. How I'm gonna put them over as uh, SSX games, but that could be just me being a little biased towards the classic Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, if it's not a real big fan of anything. Fit- Thing from the NES, Super NES, N64, yeah. Yeah, just so you guys know. So even as a slight bias. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you. Not too worse, but I try to give them the chance at least. Yes, 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 yes. It's more towards the N64 than the Super NES and NES, if I'm going to say out of a, a three there. Yup, you got it, man. And then I played Yoshi Story and NES, that's one of the good games out there. Yeah, NES, you mean N64. <laughs> right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. 64. <laughs> yep, it's, like, that's it's okay. It's okay. Yoshi's I- I- Island is one I mistake too. I keep thinking not when it gets released on the, uh, on the Super NES not instead of the NES. So <laughs> you're not alone. Yep. That was a good game, though. It's a pretty good game. Yeah. And then we also continue the more process on Psych Cooper again. Which we passed on, like, right around close to, I forget where, but I do know it's pretty close to being the game. So, that's that on Wednesday. Okay, then on Thursday, I start playing after Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, I start playing Destiny Final Fantasy, the first to remind you, not 012. Or the mobile game, 
or NT. Keep that in mind. And what'd you think? What amazing game. <laughs> I, I had a feeling you say that. <laughs> yeah, uh, fun fact, I'm, all, I'm probably the only uh, NT fan out there. Get your pitchforks. I'll defend that game to the end if I must. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah. Well, I'm gl glad you uh, glad you're enjoying it, bud. Well, that's before when the next game comes out, which is Lightning comes in. So I'll still give that game a, a, when I get the chance. So I might play it. <laughs> All right. What I do beat like Destiny of Final Fantasy, the first game first for stories. Gotcha. All right, next one. Well, I'm still we're still making progress to beat like Cooper, which we're all like round. Hmm, I can't say what levels. Let's say we're like round the fourth area or after the third area. That's to my understanding. So, and then we played NBA Streets Three had Mario characters in it. Oh boy, that game was good back in the day. Yeah. Speaking of basketball, after that, Ethan got to go go to a Veterans Park in New Jersey. They see him play some in real life basketball. And how'd you do? Oh, you know, we actually play like Ocean, which is like big game. And I didn't didn't win. So and then we play the actual game. Me and my friend beat his own memory family numbers. So <laughs> we were good. I bet. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you this. The Ferrens Park area, boy, guys, you would have think it's the most beautiful area you've been to. It. Oh, man, I just love that. Look to the ocean area. Wow. Okay, it's official. Official, I, must, I might have to go with you next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, of course, we're going to have to make plans around the time. So, yeah. Yeah, totally. All right. Uh, anyways, and then uh, that was Ethan's day all day that day. Uh, so what'd you do on Friday? This is getting close to the end, guys. Uh, it's going to be sad, but I'll get it. I'll get there. So get ready. So until on Friday, we play actual Yu-Gi-Oh cards games. And I didn't do so well, which I'm not surprised about. Like I always done in the past. In total defense to Ethan, it's not his fault that he dropped out of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> the series just isn't his thing anymore, unfortunately. But he'll still play with his friends for fun. Mm -hmm. That, that yep. does, does mean, though, if he's going to keep this up, he'll probably have to practice again at one point. Because, boys, <laughs> this is a good streak for him. Yeah, I know. Yep, and then uh, we went over to uh, Tony's for pizza, and I gotta tell you something. There is a one thing that you guys do not know. There is another weird way to eat pizza. Is if it's like it's like a thin, thin, uh, thin, not crust, but the thin pizza. Let's just say it's so hot to the point that what that what the New Yorkers do is actually do is flip here the, the front. And then flip it like this and make it look like, oh boy, it looked like a crust is upside down. And you eat it, it's like, hmm, okay, okay, I see the different ways to eat it. But I didn't mind it. I, I don't mind it either. Whatever works for you guys. I mean, you eat hot dogs differently than us. Us, you eat pizza differently than us, and I'm not going to judge. <laughs> oh, not either to me. I didn't mind it at all. I tried it that way. I like it. So, nah, I didn't mind it. Let's see. And then we play more of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which we should not be so surprised. But, yeah. And then on Saturday, we play more Yu-Gi-Oh! again. Boy, so some matches I did, I was so close beating. But I lost. Seriously, buddy, buddy, you might have to pop, pop to act as in your life. You get get at one point point if you're gonna keep kicking your butts like this. <laughs> oh, I've been practicing going on like on uh, 
and the apps on the on the computer by this point anyway. But I'll tell you this, guys. I've been using one of my favorite decks, and I've been a fanboy of it since I was younger. And I'm the hero deck. I see. I see. That's not shocking considering, considering how much he talks about a lot of it. Good Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, all right. And then what else did you do? Sounds like you did a lot on su- Sunday. Uh, we went over to... um. We went over to... What? No, nothing. I meant to say Saturday, not Sunday. All right. That's okay, man. On Saturday, we went over to an amusement park, which is in... Kingsburg uh, Boardwalk in New Jersey. And I'll tell you something. Boy, that does I look fun. There's like even like museum but parks there too. Like, uh, let's see. They haven't got the bucket of fries. Boy, guys, you want to know how much you can eat fries there? If it's a bucket, it is right up to this big. And it's, oh, it's like up to this big. You can eat fries. Boy, that's a lot. Mm. Yeah, is that crazy? Stop it, buddy! You're making me hungry. <laughs> and I just ate dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, right. And then I had like a medium, which is up to this big. I didn't get the book because it was too full for me. It was so, so I can't even eat the whole thing. Almost, almost about to not able to eat the whole thing. But um, I did the mission gun alley, which is uh, one of those. One of those fun games that you go with uh it was one of those um one of those BB gun games that you shoot all the star that is like up to like almost little to none star you're supposed to get. And then we play air hockey and I beat my friend a couple of times, but he beat me, but I beat him most of it. Yeah, that's not Shaka. Shaka, air hockey is one of your strengths. I mean you beat me a couple of times in that game too. <laughs> Yup, and then we and then we did uh, the one of those one of those uh, punchy bag machine just goes like, Zip! and then you put you have to punch really hard as you can in order to get the higher score. I did that; that was fun. And then we play Wheel of Fortune, which is one of the arcade games. I'll tell you something, guys. I did fantastic in the first time how I spin the wheel. Uh, let's say I got my friend up to like. 102 tickets in the first time. That's a good sign. Wow, that's cool. Yup. And then way after that, after all that, we play checkers and I beat both of them. My that's not a surprise. Me. Checkers is one of Ethan's biggest games. He can practically beat me in it, in it because he knows strategy too all too well. Yup. <laughs> and then on Sunday, which is the next day, we play Pokemon Unite. Uh, again, I'll go over it after we go over the days. And then, and of course, we know, let's just say there was a little story background I should just not discuss too much. Let's just say that the last minute happened on Thursday, I remember correctly. Let's just say my friend's mom had to go straight up to the hospital right around her time when she has her arteries, arteries, or arteries, you know, like in the stomach here and all that. She had to go there because it's hurting her. So too bad she cannot be around with us while I'm around. So that that is sad. That is pretty sad. I hope I hope, I hope she's feeling better now. Yup, they don't know when she's going to be out of the hospital, so we had to visit over there. I can't visit over there because COVID restrictions. Only family members can go over there. Fair enough. So Even I if that- I've already been vaccinated. I get. I guess that means... I get, yep. uh, oh, sorry, sorry. You, you first. It's okay, man. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what's happening there. And then, and then though, we went over to the good park, the Cheese Quick Park in New Jersey. I'll tell you something. 
They got the good camping reserves there. They got the area I went over there. They got some camping reserves. They got the playground there. And boy, that park does look pretty good. Even the walking trail looks pretty good, too. I like the area there. Especially my friend did say it's pretty good in the fall as well. I see. I see. Might have to go camping one of these times then, then if we're ever down there. Yup, yup. Uh, yeah, we should go over and check it out. We have the chance again. So, yeah, I like the area. And then, right after that, we finally beat Psy Cooper 1 together. And together. So, my friend did say, I can say it now. Let's say my friend say that he doesn't like all the mini games. But he likes the game, though. Fair. Fair. Definitely definitely wouldn't disagree with him on that. Mm-hmm. True. Some of the games aren't as the best, in my opinion, but I like most of them, most likely. Because I'm used to them back when I was younger. Of course. <laughs> All right. Next one, bud. And then me and my bud, we try out the, the one of the PS2 called Hot Shots Golf. Three, and I'll tell you something. It almost look like a PS One game. Ew, that's not a good thing. Hmm. Yeah, I, I wasn't a huge fan of that game, to be honest with you. I wish I wouldn't blame my friend. He got bored after that, so we jumped into the other game. That is a PlayStation Three game, and it's actually a lot better. It's called Hot Shot. Out of Bounds, which MC wants to try, or this year he tried. I've always tried Out of Bounds. I'm going to be honest. Better than the PS2 version. Yeah, I always said this. I uh, probably have said this at one point or the other, but World Invitational and Out of Bounds will probably, probably be my two outside of everyone's golf on the PS4. Mm-hmm. And even better than the PS2 game, in my opinion. <laughs> Which is a fair opinion. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to reply more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in his opinion, too. So, And then after that, which is going to be on Monday, this is actually the fully last day of over to New Jersey. And I'll get to the most sad part after that. And then... We play Pokemon Unite almost all day. And then we went over to playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards once again. And then lastly, we went over to eat out at uh, A's Thai, Thai and Barbecue Place, which is over in New Jersey. I got to say, I like it. It's one of the places I like. I like that place. And also, to remind you, my friend's uh, sister actually works there. Mm -hmm. that's Mm -hmm. pretty cool yep 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 so i'm not gonna mention the main just be safe so yeah it's pretty interesting it was good and last week we play on the web browser it's Yu-Gi-Oh doing nexus that was really good yeah, the reason why uh, we did the Zoom thing is because Ethan was a really busy play with his friend. And that's not his fault, fault of course, because Ethan really seems to want to beat me and his friend at this point, point, or at least try to, too, because they keep using broken decks. Mm-hmm. Some of the broken decks, man. Well, the beginning of it, I didn't mind it. And then when it gets closer, I'm just like, why are they using broken decks? Seriously, seriously, if you want to know how broken they are, well, in the scale of Smash Butters, Butters from back in Smash 4 when people were complaining about Bayonetta being broken, that's how broken. Yup, yup, yup. And it made me to the point it made me rage quit. And even doesn't rage quit from a match at all. Very rarely does he do that. That's like literally, it's like me playing a Dark Souls 3 boss. Seriously, we either gotta you either gotta find a way to beat them or get around those broken decks. Decks, because seriously, the, uh, seriously, this sounds like tough. It's to the point where I don't even want to face them, face them, face them if I ever got into the series. And that's coming from me. Yep, yep, yep. 
So, of course, and then the next day, which is today, from the day's record, which is the which is the day we're recording. <sighs> Let's get this over with. I about to tear up about it. Let's say I got over to the Newark air, the airport today, and then while I was on the plane, I got on to play Ace Attorney, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles on the Switch. I gotta say. It's one of the harder games I play so far, but I'm gonna play more while I have the chance. And then after that, I have the most tearful moment I had, man. It's really sad when I got back, man. It's like it's hard to let go. It's so sad. You gotta leave someone you know, and it's so good. It's like it's not good. It's like it's it was so tearful. I got back here, you know. It was terrible. Yeah, I can't blame Ethan. Ethan's friend moved to New Jersey for a very good re reason, I'm pretty sure. Sure, but uh, I'm. It's still pretty sad that he misses them. Misses them. At least he gets to see them, see them, see them with these trips to New Jersey. But it's still kind of a bum bummer that they don't live in the state. Unfortunately, most of our emulite friends from high school and middle school still live around here. So, yep. But um, yeah. It is a good thing that me and him, we kept a contact to each other for years. And that's how I've been doing the full logs. And of course, to be honest with you guys, his PC machine, his PC is actually literally like almost like a retro gaming machine. Pretty much, much kind of like my uh, uh, Xbox Series S is a retro gaming machine. machine. Which, by the way, in case you didn't know, guys, I did get the dev, dev kit, kit so I could actually play the stuff. Uh, play some retro games, so definitely expect some coverage on that in the future, future for the channel. Uh, but uh, that being said, said so, yeah. Um, now Pokemon Unite, let's get this out of the way. To be honest with you, it was it was not a bad game, it's not terrible for those of you who want to get into Pokemon. It's not a terrible game, in my personal opinion. It's just not one of my favorites because, no offense. It's one of the competitive games, and it could be close to like to be some other some other online games it reminds me of. Yeah, <laughs> that's about my opinion too. Too too. I don't think it's terrible, but uh, there's a good reason why I'm more looking forward to all the other games coming out, uh, out for Pokemon than uh, this one in particular. But I'm happy for those who enjoy. Enjoy, or enjoying this so far so good to see again if you haven't seen the gameplay i'll leave it in the card right here so you guys can check out some gameplay of what it looks like uh, even my friend oh let me tell you this even i got my friend's brother actually said this he thinks the community in this game thinks it's more toxic than legend of was it legal leagues of legend i'm just like whoa how is it more toxic uh, I've heard some pretty bad things. Things about League of Legends, unfortunately. I was like, whoa, how is it way more toxic than that? I didn't ask him that, but I was like, right in my head, go, whoa, how's it way worse? How? Well, if he's talking to the overall Pokemon community, well. Well, no. This one when you unite. Pokemon Unite's just been out for a couple of days. I can't call call the community toxic just yet. We need a month at least. Well, that's just what he experienced so far. Mm. But I didn't say anything. That's, that's what he knows. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah. yeah. So Ethan's had a pretty busy two weeks. Weeks. Um, so... And real quick about Ace Attorney. Turning. So so far, Ethan is even struggling on the first case. Now this isn't uh, Now this isn't bad for Ethan. All the time with all the other Ace Attorney games when he first tried it, he always struggled with a case. Case. But this one in particular, Ethan struggling with the very first case. Case. And even in past Ace Attorneys, Ethan's never struggled with that. I mean, they're hard, but Ethan can usually try to figure out up on the top of his head. So. This one's probably going to be the most challenging Ace Attorney that even has faced to date. And this one has some mechanics that aren't even in the current Ace Attorney games. 
Yup. And I'm definitely going to play more later. I have a chance, but of course I'm going to do a, like, just try to do this, play this game and destiny at the same time. But with uncharted, maybe, but I think I prefer doing these two combined together. Yeah, uh, definitely. Definitely. Uh, plus we have, Plus, Ethan needs to get this done anyways because we get uh, literally a month left le left because uh, unfortunately after today, but guys, guys will only be like three months away if I don't get this out by tonight. Not uh, not right from uh, August. So me and Ethan are running out of time before uh, September, October, and November hit, uh, hit us with a bam, 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 bam with a whole bunch of games. Including the Pokemon remakes. And those remakes, I'm going to look forward to. As well as several new Nintendo games, including Metro, Dread, and Mario, we are getting it together. And we also have, have uh, obviously, Sonic Colors Ultimate and Forza Horizon 5. 5, duh. So I'm we're literally going to be booked these next three months in terms of games. So literally, uh, this is pretty much going to be my and Ethan's last three months to really get any other games in our backlogs completely cleared out beforehand. I'm just glad I get to beat Final Fantasy VII in Crisis Core. But a great Ace Attorney, I should do is beat that first. Because that's important for me and my own knowledge. Yes. On uh, top, top of that, that at, uh, top of that, uh, if Ethan doesn't beat it before then, it's going to get locked into his backlog. And, uh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm not saying that Ethan won't get around to it, but we tend not to get around to our games pretty often, uh, often sometimes, so better sooner than later. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad I get to beat one of the Final Fantasy seven games, but now Destinator, I also need to beat still, and I hope I don't fall behind with that one. Or Parasite Eve. Okay, I'm missing out the good old place and classics I can beat, but he's in turn, I'm trying to do it time to time with the two games. Yes, definitely. Definitely sounds like a good plan. Well, it's good to ha have you back, uh, back here, buddy. buddy. Um, and I'm glad we got to do these vlogs again. Again, the week vlogs were easier this time because Ethan was only staying was staying for two weeks, so we both just thought that it would be easier just to recap everything. But um, yeah, all right, guys. Uh, Ethan's got to get to bed, so I got to wrap this up up for you guys. So before we do, buddy, do you have anything thing to say to close this out? Well, I can say one thing, guys. I hope you all enjoy this vlog and also give me some slide that I get a little sad from leaving New Jersey. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Over the next couple of days, Ethan will probably get over it. But just for a little bit, just for right now, give Ethan a little bit of time time and space on Twitter Twitter if you're chatting with him if he seems a little down down that is probably why why but he'll be back to his normal normal Ethan and self self eventually. Yeah it's just that I miss my friend up there and it was it was a fun time. Yeah I just miss the good old times you know but hey who knows maybe you guys would be lucky that MC can come with me to to the where we're going but we'll see what we can do though. Yeah, we'll see what we could do. Do do if we, I were to go down with him next time. Unfortunately, we would need to plan a hotel, and that's a whole de another thing I gotta worry about because uh, of other stuff involving money and, of course, upcoming systems and games. And yeah, I got a lot of other stuff to worry about first. First, plus if anything, even we'll probably not go until next year, so I got a year to plan this, anyways. Uh, but yeah, all right, guys, that's all for now. Thank you. Welcome back again, Ethan. Ethan, it's great to see see you again. Hopefully, we'll be able to do an uh, in-person uh, video soon. Soon, but uh, yeah, that's all for now, guys. This is yours truly, Music Clues. Ethan, signing out. And y'all have a nice gaming day during this recording. See ya. See ya. <laughs>